Hello lovely viewers, you are most welcome to our channel Poetry Online. In this video, we shall be presenting to you some questions and answers on Scribbler's Dreams by Lawrence Damani. Kindly subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get updates on all our new videos. Once again, let us assure you of a very interesting discussion. Get ready for this lesson. How many stanzas has the poem? A3 B4 C5 D6 The correct answer to this question is B4. The poem opens with an address to the A readers B poets C scribbler D quail and parchment The correct answer to this question is C. The poem opens with an address to the scribbler. Scribbler's dream is written in A rhyming couplets B free verse C couplets D quatrains The correct answer to this question is B. Free verse the whole poem is an address to the A. Audience B. Readers C. Scribblers D. Speaker The correct answer to this question is C. Scribblers The poem Scribblers Dream ends with A or an A. Oxymoron B. Personification C. Rhetorical question D. Apostrophe The correct answer to this question is C. Rhetorical question According to the poet, all the scribbler needs is a A. Heavy hand B. Shelf C. Pacing carpet D. Quill and parchment the correct answer to this question is D. Quail and parchment. The use of the word vacuum in the poem suggests A. Procrastination B. Laziness C. Emptiness D. Hope The correct answer to this question is C. Emptiness What is a dominant device in Vacuum stares at you. A. Personification B. Oxymoron C. Hyperbole D. Illusion The correct answer to this question is A. Personification The first stanza of the poem significantly draws a contrast between A. Dreams and Reality B. Quail and Parchment C. Life and Death D. Hope and Dream The correct answer to this question is A. Dreams and Reality Mason, Quail and Parchment best exemplifies a literal device A. Metaphor B. Personification C. Symbolism D. Oxymoron The correct answer to this question is B. Personification The overriding theme of the poem is A. The failure of scribblers B. Laziness C. Hard work D. Achievements in life The correct answer to this question is C. Hard work The poem Scribbler's Dream seeks to dash writers A. Praise writers B. Condemn writers C. Criticize writers D. Encourage writers The correct answer to this question is D. Encourage writers. The diction of the poem can best be described as A. Complex 
B. Simple. C. A kick. D. Slang. The correct answer to this question is B. Simple. They dig deep who find it. Dig deep in this extract symbolizes A. Mining. B. Galamsey. C. Hard work. D. A hole. The correct answer to this question is C. Hard work. Dig deep in the poem makes use of the device A. Metaphor. B. Alliteration. C. Consonance. D. Assonance. The correct answer to this question is B. Alliteration. The use of the lexical items, pacing carpets, connotes A. Walking. B. Aimless movement. C. Overthinking. D. Dressing one's room. The correct answer to this question is B. Aimless movement. What, according to the poet, is a scribbler's dream? A. To stare at the shelf. B. To fill the shelf. C. Disuse nums. D. Gaze upon the shelf. The correct answer to this question is B. Fill the shelf. Which of the following in the poet's diction suggests laziness? A. Yawning gaps close. B. Heavy are your hands. C. Vacuum stares at you. D. Tell you the truth. The correct answer to this question is B. Heavy are your hands. Quill and parchment in the point symbolizes A. Pen and paper. B. Books and articles. C. Typewriter and ink. D. Printer and paper. The correct answer to this question is A. Pen and paper. This use nouns the wrist depicts the addressees. A. Hard work. B. Procrastination. C. Lack of practice. D. Sickness. The correct answer to this question is C. Lack of practice. Mating, as used in the poem, connotes A. Sexual intercourse. B. Bringing together. C. Laziness. D. Hard work. The correct answer to this question is B. Bringing together. Which of this is given the human attribute of staring in the poem? A. Quills. B. Parchment. C. Vacuum. D. Dreams. The correct answer to this question is C. Vacuum. They dig deep who find this in the poem. Stresses the need to a. Work harder. B. Give up in difficult times. C. Laziness. D. Procrastination. The correct answer to this question is A. Work harder. What, according to the poem, was once lost in rocky soils? A. Quills. B. Parchment. C. Dreams. D. Gold. The correct answer to this question is D. Gold. Gold in this poem is symbolic to A. Success. B. Wealth. C. Royalty. D. Beauty. The correct answer to this question is A. Success. How many lines has the poem? A. 22 
B twenty three, C twenty four, D twenty five. The correct answer to this question is C twenty four. When will this dream in your mind fill the shelf? Illustrates a literal device. A apostrophe. B simile. C personification. D rhetorical question. The correct answer to this question is D rhetorical question. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video.